Welcome to Herald of Glory Devotional. Today is Sunday, April 17th, 2022. And the Lord's Word says, Enjoy Divine Rest. The NET version of Matthew 11:28 reads, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Pastor teaches that the theme scripture is the word of the Lord Jesus, revealing an essential blessing he brought to mankind. Prior to his coming, the weariness and burden of sin was something no one could escape because that was the status quo for all people. But Jesus announced the goodness of his coming with such refreshing words of assurance, come to me and I will give you rest. In other words, Jesus was saying, You have been engaged in fruitless ventures for so long a time. Come to me and I'll show you a place of rest. The divine rest Jesus brought was not to make people idle. Rather, he came to give humankind a new kind of work that produces life, peace and contentment from God the Father. They are fruits of faith and love. He continued, Do what I teach you to do. Learn from me everything that is true. I am very kind and I obey God. Then you will have true life and you will not be anxious. I will only ask you to do good things. I will not ask you to carry anything that is too heavy for you. And I will not ask you to do things that are too difficult. Your faith in the Lord Jesus brought you into the rest of the Father. Remain in it. In John 6, 29, the Easy English Version reads, Jesus answered, Believe him that God has sent to you. That is the work that God wants you to do. Faith grounds you in God's pleasure. Your consistent walk in the realities of your faith in Christ Jesus is your truest enjoyment of this rest Jesus brought. Rest connotes settlement, satisfaction, peace, and serenity. And that's exactly what you enjoy through your absolute assurance in the integrity of God's word and your choice to live by its truth. Hallelujah. Practicalize today's word as you make this declaration with me. Say, I'm a child of faith and I am enjoying divine rest on every side. I am free from the quandaries of sin in this world. I am kept in the love of the Father. I choose to live by the truth of God's word every day. Hallelujah. As your reflection, Assess your living and outline any practice that stifles your joy. Apply the word of God to that situation as you read and meditate on Matthew 13, 20 and 1 Thessalonians 1, 3. With Herald of Glory devotional, every day is a perfect day. Pastor Julius Glorifield Christ Lord, heralding the Glorious Church.